provided them specific information to back your claim. Uh, so can you clarify, have you shown them the evidence you're basing your claim on and have you walked them through that case and shown them how Canada has reached this conclusion? We've had numerous conversations with um, India before the Prime Minister went in front of the House and made his declaration. This was not a surprise to the government of right, India. A surprise, but the evidence, did you show them and the evidence? through these different conversations, the uh, Indian officials were made aware of the credible allegations. And so based on that, um, India has um, decided to take their own decisions, which are precedent setting, and revoking the diplomatic immunity of 41 diplomats is not only unprecedented, but also contrary to international law. And so in that sense, because this is so unprecedented and would put so many countries, different diplomats around the world in danger, we decide not to reciprocate. Okay, so that's a repetition of your statement, and thank you. I understand what your point is, but you're not answering the question directly on that point. But you did... I, Tonda, um, I've, ref I've answered your question. You've asked me the question whether we had conversation and presented If you evidence. showed them the evidence, I've yes. Shown, I've, dis I've, I've told you <coughs> that there were meetings and information was shared. So I am, I've answered your question. And so um, it's in, in terms of the conversations that you've had and the talks that you've been having to stop this eventuality, um, it's happened over a number of weeks. Uh, it's been reported that you personally went to Washington and spoke to the Indian foreign minister, if you could confirm that to us. And can you describe what the tenor of right now I know you're not going to talk about what exactly you said, but what is the tenor of the diplomatic conversation? Is it still ongoing or is it over now? Well, I always believe in diplomacy. And I believe so much in diplomacy that I really think that diplomacy is best when it's kept private. So I will continue to do that. And uh, I know that my, my colleague, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, can count on me to make sure that we continue to engage, and I ask India's full cooperation. 